There are common myths about criminal records when used for screening an applicant. One common misconception is that all criminal reports are the same, yet they are not created equal. Here are some of the most common criminal checks. 1. Nationwide Criminal Database Scan an instant response scan that casts a wide net over numerous available jurisdictions in the U.S. 2. County-level criminal search, a manual search by a researcher at the courthouse level. 3. Federal criminal search, a manual search of the U.S. District and Appellate Courts. 4. Sex Offender Registry, a state of search of their Department of Justice's Sex Offender Registry, where the public data varies by state. When it comes to making a decision based on a criminal report, one significant misconception is that all felonies are serious crimes and should heavily affect your decision. This isn't necessarily true. What constitutes a felony versus a misdemeanor or infraction will vary heavily by state and has many levels of severity depending on the type of crime. One example would be marijuana provisions. While some states allow it, viewing it as legal, others might prosecute it as a felony. Unfortunately, these types of misconceptions have led to the idea that you shouldn't use criminal records because there is too much liability. While some states have been attempting to restrict the use of criminal records in the rental decision, you can and should use them in your decision process if legally permitted. So long as the records you receive are verified that they are about your applicant and are within the legal reporting period, it is your duty as a manager to keep your property safe. Stay away from incorporating these problematic myths into your decision process by clicking the link below for seven more criminal myths and facts.